Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. You may have seen an advertisement on social media recently for a phone grip called the Snap 4 Lux. It is a very effective advertisement and it looks like a very good product. And when I was at the CES show the other day, they were handing these things out like candy at their booth, so I got one. I stuck it to my phone. I've been using it for the last couple of days and I thought I would give you my impressions of it and whether or not it lives up to the advertising. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this came in free of charge from the company. They handed me one at their booth. However, they are not reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded. They are not paying for this review and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see what this phone grip is all about. Now, the price point on this comes in at around $39. They have a bunch of different colors available. I got one that best matches the fit and finish of my iPhone here. Now, I have mine, of course, attached to an iPhone 15 Pro Max, and it makes use of the MagSafe uh, magnet on there to get it aligned properly. It will work with cases, and if you have a MagSafe case, it'll align nicely on that, but you can also just get it centered and stick it down because it has a reusable adhesive on it, which I'll show you in a minute. It will also work with Android phones. And one of the things we'll explore later in the review is attaching it to this Pixel 8 Pro and having MagSafe accessories work with that Android phone, which is kind of neat. But on the surface, it's a pretty simple grip. So if I extend out the center disc here, I can slide my fingers underneath, very similar to what you would get with a pop socket. It hangs on very tightly here. Uh, they say it's rated for like 25 pounds of force, and I have not had this thing fly off on me yet. It feels very sturdy. You can also slip your finger inside of it here and get an even better grip, which you can't do on a pop socket. Surprisingly, the uh, plastic pieces here that fold up are very strong. I was expecting this thing to fall apart in the first couple of days that I've been using it, but I've been putting it through a lot of abuse, walking my dog and flipping the phone around here like a fidget spinner, and it's been holding up quite well. In fact, it looks pretty much the same as when I got it. And then when you are done with the grip, you can just uh, move it back down into its closed position here. And as you can see, as the advertisement suggests that we were watching earlier, it is very thin. In fact, it is thinner than the camera bumps. Now, in addition to working as a grip, if you attach it to something metal that magnets stick to, it will stick to that. You can see it here attached to my dishwasher a little bit earlier. So, so far, so good here. It seems to be checking all the boxes. One other neat feature is that you can uh, just look for these little nubs on either side. And if you open it up and then just slide the end here into this little uh, spot there on the base, you could set this up as a stand and you can watch your shows on it. Pretty cool. It seems to be pretty sturdy here as well. And so far, it seems to be working as the advertising suggests. Now I've got two wireless chargers here. This one is designed to work with MagSafe devices. This one here is a regular Qi charger. As you can see, my phone is not currently charging. I've got the orange light here on this Belkin that indicates that it isn't working. If I take the phone off and put it back on, it will start charging briefly and then it will stop. And I saw this happen with other Qi chargers that I have here in the house from Logitech. So it just doesn't charge reliably on a standard Qi charger when you attach the phone. Now the ad says you can charge right through it. Snap four, charger, boom. You can charge straight through it. Yep, that's a fucking bomb. Although if you go to their website and learn more about the product, it does say that non-MagSafe chargers might be problematic. And I can confirm that most of them that I've tried have not worked properly. But if I attach it here to the MagSafe one, it should charge and stay charged. In fact, I tested this earlier and I was able to get my phone to a full charge without any issues. So it looks like if you are using MagSafe chargers, you're gonna be okay. But if you're using Qi chargers, you're probably going to need to take the Snap 4 off at night. Now that said, it's actually pretty easy to get this thing on and off because they have a reusable adhesive on it. It's not one of those 3M adhesives that leave a residue. So let's take a look at how we get this thing off and we'll see if we can get it to work on our Android phone. Now to take it off, I found it's pretty easy to do. If you can get your fingernails under there and give it a good tug, it will usually come off without issue. The adhesive is along the area where these magnets are. So the MagSafe will align it onto the back of an iPhone and just give it a nice press when you put it back down to re-adhere it. If it gets less sticky, applying some water to clean any dirt off of it 
will usually restore the stickiness. I've seen this kind of adhesive on a few other products in the past and it works fairly well here and it provides enough strength along with the magnet to keep it on the phone and you shouldn't have it flying off on you too frequently if ever. Uh, but again, if you are pulling it off and putting it back on again frequently, I would suggest uh, at least cleaning it every once in a while to give that adhesive a good opportunity to grip. But I like the fact that it's not leaving any residue on my phone here. There's a little bit of an outline here, but if I just apply some water to the back of the phone, that'll clean right up there. Now I wanted to show you what happens when I attach my Android phone to a MagSafe charger. If I kind of align it here in the right spot, you can see that it does get a charge from this MagSafe charger because MagSafe chargers are actually Qi compatible. But if I let go here, you can see the phone slides down. It stops charging because it lost its connection to the wireless charger. And right now it's just being held up by its camera bump. But what we're gonna do here is flip it around and we're going to attach the Snap 4. Now the problem with Android phones is that they all are different insofar as where their charging points are located. So you have to kind of guess at the best spot. And unlike the iPhone, it won't automatically center, but the adhesive should adhere just fine. So I'm gonna to try to get it right where I think it may, needs to be to get this thing going. And as you can see here, I've got it attached now. I can use it as a uh, pop socket if I want and get all of the uh, features of the phone grip here and it's hanging on pretty good. Now, if I attach it now to the uh, charger here, you can see it snaps right on there. And now we are getting a charge because we're able now to use MagSafe adapters thanks to the fact that we have the Snap 4 attached to it. So let me do that again. We're going to just snap it right on here. And as you can see, it starts charging up immediately because I was able to align the Snap 4 with the location of the charging coil on this phone. And now that I've got it aligned and I know where it is, I can reattach it every time and get it to charge wirelessly and stay attached to this charger. You can also use other MagSafe accessories like some of those batteries that latch on to the back of your phone. So it kind of adds some additional functionality on the Android side, even though it's a little bit easier to get it attached on the iPhone. And just a quick disclosure here, this is a Pixel 8 Pro that came in free of charge from Google. So overall, I've been pretty pleased with the Snap 4 here. It's really easy to use on the iPhone. Just snap it in there, give it a nice press down, and you are good to go with a very reliable phone grip. The one issue I've got here is that their claim of charging right through it only applies to MagSafe power adapters like this one. These cost more than the Qi ones do, and if you want reliable wireless charging that you know is gonna work every time, MagSafe appears to be the only way you'll get that reliability with the Snap 4 attached. It's pretty easy to take it off, but taking it off and putting it back on every night is not something that I'm interested in, and I use these chargers primarily. So that's my only big gripe with this. I wish they could get the Qi charging working a little better. Maybe that'll be in the next version, but everything else here really does work as advertised. I am somebody that doesn't like phone cases. I don't like things stuck to my phone. I never thought I would ever want a phone grip before, but now that I have this thing on here, I'm pretty pleased with it. And I like how thin it is and how it doesn't feel like I've got something attached to my phone. But again, the wireless charging is one area that I think needs improvement. That's gonna do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including gold level supporters, Brian Parker, Budley, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Steve Green, and Amda Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.